All right, my fellow Spark Simplers, this is a sort of different video. I'm not going to open Spark Simple nor show anything on site. Um, what I'm going to do here is share some of my experience on building uh, spreadsheets. I have been working with this for like 20 years and I'm uh, pretty well versed on uh, creating these complex spreadsheets. And I take advantage of it while setting my Google Sheets for Spread Simple. And this is what I'm about to share with you. Well, here in front of me, I have this uh, new uh, untouched uh, Google Spreadsheets. And I'll start giving it a name. So I'm going to call it Hockey uh, Sites for Spread Simple. And what I advise you is not touching the sheet one and later you see why. But the thing is that you should protect this and leave it as is for a while because this will be the direct source for your Spread Simple site. You could do it in a different way. You could set other sheets to serve the site, but leave this one as is and you'll see that it's better. And if you want to build a dynamic site, of course you have a source of data and what I'm going to do now is create a new sheet and I'm calling it data. Oh, sorry, I touched it uh, incorrectly. So I'm going to call it data. And this is a sheet to be protected. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy my source of data here and I'll import it. And in this case, it's coming from another uh, Google uh, Sheet, but this could be a CSV that you're importing uh, data coming from a form or from another system, from a scraper, whatever you want. But the important thing is that you preserve the data because this is where uh, the most dynamic part of your site will happen. And you should not mess with it. You should like protect it to be as simple and as direct as possible. But of course, you want to organize, organize this data and change the format and maybe the, the, the order of it. And to do so, you could create another sheet, which I'll leave in the middle of this two, so data, and the other one I'll call, for example, spread simple base. And I'm going to uh, copy uh, the data to this sheet tree, which I'll call uh, variables, for example. But I'm not going to control C, control V there. I want it to keep dynamic. So I'm going to use uh, equal here, and then I'll just copy the whole uh, lines and columns here. I know this data has 99 uh, lines. Uh, and if this had more, I could just keep copying because on the other sheet, it will be empty. So it doesn't matter if you want to extend the, uh, the reach of these uh, sheets. So, okay. Looks pretty basic. I'm sure you're getting bored, but now the good work begins. So imagine if I want to create a variable here to present on my site called BMI, and I have a, a hint on another um, to copy and remind me of what it is. Uh, so BMI is this information that is uh, the weight in pounds divided by the uh, square of height in inches multiplied by 703. I cheated here because I don't know how to make calculations in inches, but um, no problem. I just turned this into a decimal number. Uh, and if I try to do this calculation here, you see that uh, it won't work because um, I'll and I'll explain it to you right away. So just a second for me to uh, put the formula here. 
So I'm going to multiply by 703 and you'll see this won't work because here these values are uh, using comma as separator and not uh, the correct notation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute uh, on this cell um, the commas for dots and substitute, sorry. And this should work. Oh, yes, it works. And you see that although it works, oh no, it worked fine now. So I have my calculation here. I just need to copy it to the end of my uh, of my table. And you saw that there was this error here and because there is no value there. And another thing you should learn is using a formula called if error. So if error on this, leave it blank. So now when I copy it down, see, there is an error, so and it won't uh, show anything. Every time I do a calculation on the sheets, I, I'm sorry, I just touched the, the wrong thing here. I tend to paint it in a different color, especially in this case where I have like raw uh, data and also calculation. So I remember myself that this is a different column. In this case, it's a calculated column. So there are too many uh, decimal uh, numbers here and I'm going to remove most of them. And let's think that maybe I want to sort my uh, sheet uh, using this BMI uh, information. So I don't want, I'm not really worried about the ID. I want to present it on my spread simple in a different fashion. So I'm going to use this variable sheet to do most of the calculations and the sorting that I want. So I'm going to rank it here. And to do so, I'm going to use a formula called rank. And I'm going to rank this on this column. And this should work. All right, so this is the number 82. And I just have to fix it here. And then I can rank almost everyone. And there it goes. And the very same thing here. There's an error, there's no input. And what I'm going to do, I'll put if error. Leave it blank. So we're good. And this is getting uh, better now. So let's think that uh, for example, I want to present the full name of the uh, players, so we don't have it here, so I'll call it full name. And then I'll put this and the space and the last name. And now I'm going to copy this until the end of the sheet. No, I don't need to go all the way to the end. I'm going to copy it to the end of my fields. And there we have the full name. <coughs> okay, but why did I build this on a separate fashion and I created this variable sheet? Because if I want to sort it uh, automatically before sending it to a uh, spread simple, I can do it in a better fashion. And if I don't want to present all this information, I could save some loading, uh, removing it from uh, 
the final sheet that I'm going to use to serve my data. So what I'm going to do now is uh, pretty simple. I'm going to head back to the SS base and I'm going to paste this as values. And now what I want is the ranking to follow a certain order. And of course, this will begin with one and then I can put it a two here and then head all the way back to 99, I think was the limit that I had. 98 maybe, how many lines do I have here? Let me check. So how many uh, real values I have? And if you don't have a limit, you could just go all the way down, but I have 96 uh, results and six players that I'm, I want to present. And maybe I don't need uh, the ID I don't want to present, but I don't. I also don't want to load it. I want the team, I want the country, I want the full name, but I don't need the uh, first name or the last name. I want to present this information. I don't want to present the date of, the date of birth, uh, hometown, uh, position, age, and all this, this information. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use uh, VLOOKUP uh, to pick the information coming from rank and then fill in the rest of these fields. So let's do it for the team. So I'm going to relook up uh, this value and I'm going to lock it on column A on the variables uh, sheet. So just lock it here. Okay. I don't know why it it's oh, we can do it in a better way so let's let me stop here and do it again let's call this table uh, by a name and I'm going to call it uh, organized data and now I'm going to do this lookup of this value on organized data column two and I'm just trying to see if it works so team is not column two team is column three so I'm going to put a three there and then it's pretty easy I'm going to the country is four, full name is five. So then easy to do it here. We could even do better, but it's not needed now. So this is four and this is five. And now to the weight, weight is, so this is five, so seven, eight, nine. 9, 10, so there we go, 9 and 10, and I know it's, oh, I counted badly, so it's 1, oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, I'm sorry guys, it's taking a bit longer than I was expecting, so this is 8, and this is nine. And hometown province, this is nine, 10, 11, and 11 on. So this is 11. We can make it a little bit better. So, so this is 11, 12. 13, 
and seven. Now all we need to do is copy the whole thing down here. Oh, I'm sorry. I screwed up. This one can be copied, but we can do it this way. And then uh, we find we found a mistake here because there is a problem regarding uh, number three on VLOOKUP. And if we move back to number three on the sort, uh, we won't probably find it. So it's number three. Uh, I want to do it not in those sheets, but specific range. And see, I'm not finding it here. Let me select it again. So it's not Q24, I don't know why it's not. Uh, but the problem is that uh, we can find one. Let's, let's go ahead. Uh, let's check for two. But three and four are probably the same. So three, uh, oh, there's another two. So there are two guys here uh, that I that have the very same five thousand uh, dot two. So where's the other? There you go. And this poses a problem. For example, in this ranking thing, what we could do, we could add a random value here. So I'm putting plus a random between. Uh, oh, it's not random. Rent between uh, so zero slash a thousand, and I'm going to divide it by a thousand. So I'm adding a little value here, and this should. Uh, solve the problem. Now I have a value here and we could fix this by saying if this is empty, add nothing. If not, add the random value. So in this sheet, you're going to work all the math around uh, your, your, uh, your data. And you see that we solved the problem because there's no uh, duplicated uh, thing here. There's no duplicated entry here. Everyone has a specific value and I just added this sort of, this could be like a salt, like a, a little, little, little number just to make uh, things work better. So we touched a couple of interesting things here. The first one, protect uh, your first sheet uh, because if you want to share uh, this with uh, Spread Simple so it can view the site, uh, the truth is that uh, it will take the first uh, sheet available or else you have to edit the link and all this stuff. And also, it's easier for you. So the second thing, protect your original data because if you're building a dynamic site, you want this to be as pure as possible. And you've got to have a good reference of the original data that you had. The third thing, create this sort of more complicated sheet where you're going to start working on the numbers, organizing things, adding more information. And this is where uh, the magic really happens. Normally, this is the, the, the place where you think of the ways you're going to work on your data to deliver it to uh, your uh, spread simple base. The last thing that you should know is that if you want to do like incredible or neat, neat things, you should learn a couple of formulas on Google Sheets. And we tried some of them here. Of course, you should know uh, VLOOKUPs and 
basic math uh, formulas and also if ever to clean a little bit your uh, your sheet and well import range and uh, import data are also important in this case so that's it uh, if you want for example to uh, add this data now into a Google uh, uh, spread simple page uh, I'm sure you have um, always up-to-date uh, rank uh, carrying the information that you need in a proper manner and this will save you time in the future especially if you're building a dynamic site i hope it helps enjoy take care guys and ladies too